All right, turning to the forecast now here at 615, meteorologist Matt Peterson is standing by with a look and Matt definitely chillier this morning than this time yesterday morning. Definitely. You were saying you uh, needed the heavier I know. jacket. You I know, did. So did I. You know, we're definitely looking at temperatures that are more uh, more reminiscent of what you might expect actually for the middle of March than what we had yesterday morning and especially on Friday morning. It was really mild to end the week and even again yesterday's high temperatures in the 50s still felt pretty good. Yes, there was a chill in the air compared to the 70s and almost 80 degrees that we had on Friday. But yesterday afternoon, not too bad here this morning. Clear skies. Temperatures have dropped down into the 30s and right now on our neighborhood network overlooking the Philadelphia skyline. Still relatively clear skies. We're looking pretty good to start the morning out, but take a look at these temperatures. This is why you need that jacket when you step outside here this morning. Talking about some low 30s across the Lehigh Valley. Allentown's at only 30 degrees. You see Easton at 31. Uh, some 20s up towards Jim Thorpe, Mount Pocono as, as well. You're talking about northwest suburbs here, Doylestown, Lansdale, and kind of the central parts of Bucks, Montgomery counties there just around the freezing mark. As you get a little bit closer to I-95, as you might expect, temperatures do start to creep up a little bit. Talking about 36 in Philly and, and uh, Camden, we're also looking at a 35 in Voorhees, 36 in Mullica Hill. If you're over in Bristol, we're talking about 34 degrees for this morning temperature. And then across much of South Jersey, temperatures actually haven't fluctuated all that much. Yes, it's a little bit more moderate, I guess you could say. Right along the immediate coastline, we get that kind of help from the ocean water temperatures there as we sit at 36 in Ocean City and 35 in Wildwood. But needless to say, you still need the jacket this morning as you step out the door. Storm scan three, not much happening here locally. A few maybe high clouds out there right now. It's still a northerly wind. We're going to actually watch for this to shift through the day and we'll end up with an easterly wind flow off of that ocean that will help our cloud cover to increase, but it will also keep our temperatures down. Then we take a look at what's happening in the Midwest. Two pieces of energy we're keeping an eye out on showers and thunderstorms across Louisiana and Mississippi. Another piece of energy again towards Wichita, Kansas, Kansas City and extending as far east at this point as St. Louis. This system, a lot of moisture with it. It's going to continue to work eastward and it's actually going to combine with a little bit of a low that's right now sitting off of the Carolina coastline that is going to then ride up the coast. It gets the moisture from the system in the Midwest and we end up with not just a chance for some rain showers, but maybe even a little bit of snow in some areas to the north throughout the daytime hours today. While future weather does paint in a small chance for maybe a little bit of drizzle along the immediate shore points, I do think that for the most part, everywhere does stay dry today. Again, just with that easterly wind flow, the cloud cover will be increasing. Heading into the overnight hours tonight, one o'clock or so in the morning, starting to see Yes, a little bit of mixed precipitation, maybe in areas across Berks County. As we get towards four or five o'clock tomorrow morning, rain for many of us, especially from Philly and south. But you see off to the north, still cold enough that we could get a little bit of mixed precipitation as far south as Upper Bucks in Montgomery County through the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos as well. Rain will eventually overtake the whole region in the afternoon. It could be a little bit heavy at times. The only spots where we could still see some mixed precip, that's going to be up again in those higher elevations before all of this clears out as we head into two. Tuesday winter weather advisory is in effect 3 a.m. tomorrow morning through midnight on Tuesday and that again is in our Pocono Mountains talking about temperatures in the 40s today 50s tomorrow and Jan we keep it unsettled through the rest of the work week. All right Matt thank you.